What's up, gamers? And welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking. Where this time we'll be making your favorite Christmas snack, gingerbread men. But wait, I feel like something's off. Now that we're in the Christmas spirit, let's go get some input from the students. Sean, what is your favorite holiday tree? Candy cane. Excuse me, miss, what is your favorite holiday tree? Candy canes. Nice. You, you, what's your favorite holiday tree? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that. Okay. Hey, Chris, Chris, what's your favorite holiday tree? Snickers. Snickers? Sean, Sean, what's your favorite holiday tree? Uh, uh, West Christmas tree, yep. West Christmas tree, that's a good one. Hey, what's your favorite holiday tree? Holiday tree? Yeah. Hash brown potato casserole. What the heck is even that? <laughs> what is your favorite holiday tree? Uh, chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies, that's a good one. It's so hot in this thing. What is your favorite holiday tree? Uh, food. High five? Yeah. You, what is your favorite holiday tree? Easy. Birthday cake. What is your favorite Christmas treat? Treat. Like, treat? Like, 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 uh, like prop, uh... What is your favorite holiday treat? Fruit cake. It's a good one. Thank you. What's your favorite holiday treat? Gingerbread. Men. Hey, Mason. No, don't go through that door. Come here. Hey, Mason. Hey, Mason. Back here, Mason. What is your favorite holiday treat? It's food. God. Kidding me? And we'll come back to sous chef Sam Morrow's kitchen, and let's see what we need to make our gingerbread men. What you'll need to make your gingerbread is some flour, some butter, pure vanilla extract, ground ginger, allspice, salt, brown sugar, ground cloves, cinnamon, and some molasses. And don't forget your one large egg. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, baking soda. First, you want to dump your room temperature butter into the bowl and mix it until creamy. Next, you want to add your 3 fourths cup of brown sugar. And after that, a 2 thirds cup of molasses. Now mix until it's mixed. And now, in a separate bowl, whisk the flour, baking soda, salt, ginger, cinnamon, allspice, and cloves together until combined. And now you combine all your ingredients and mix it together. Next, you want to take your dough, divide it in half, create it into small disc shapes, and cover in plastic wrap. And now, place them in the fridge for up to three hours. And now, after three hours of being in the fridge, we take it out. And now, once you have your designated surface for cutting out the cookies, you want to make sure to flour it generously uh, all over the surface and on the rolling pin in your hands. And now, you want to get some cooking pans and put parchment paper all over it. And now that you have your dough rolled out into quarter inch thickness, you want to use your designated shape and you want to just go around and cut out as many of these as you possibly can with the dough. And now that your oven is preheated to 350, you put the cookies in for 9 to 10 minutes. Let me be honest with you, I have no clue if we're doing this right. We're kind of just guessing at this point. Now, once your cookies are done, you take them out of the oven. <laughs> okay, let's see. Pull back. <laughs> I mean, looks delicious. So we're gonna forget about that batch, and we're just gonna decorate these. And now, the taste test. Yeah, it's pretty good. Good job, guys. Zero out of 10. Wouldn't do it again.